Okay, everybody, check this thing out. We have ourselves a vintage television made by RCA from 1985. Now, how to come across this? Well, I'll tell you. So, back in, I believe it was February, um, I was uh, at, at another one of my workplaces for the company, uh, just covering at that, at that specific one, and I had seen this on top of the refrigerator inside the break room, and I just looked, I just looked up at that, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, do you guys know when this TV is from? And they're like, no, not really, and I'm like, oh, this is awesome, so, so cool to see, and, um, but to truth be told, I never actually did um, try it out to see if the if it was on any channels. But I just saw it up there, and I was like, "Oh man, this is so cool! Like, it'd really be cool to have something like this." So then, uh, you know, uh, a few months go by. Um, I'm at a different uh, one of the workplaces, and the uh, what was it? I think the manager from this one had come over, and she was like. You know, we still have that TV, and she was like, as far as I know, it doesn't belong to the company, so if you want it, you can have it. And I was like, you're kidding me, right? And she was like, nope, totally serious. So only a few days ago, or no, I think it was last week, actually, um, she came She came by, and she said, uh, hey, guess what? That The TV's in the trunk. So after she took it out of there, I moved it over to my car, and... Um, and then it became mine. And just, oh, so cool to have a TV like this, you know? And I'll show you some information on the back. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. Um, it is a little dusty on top. Uh, that, that could easily be vacuumed off. So here's your uh, CRT screen right here. As you can see. Um, it's a 13-inch display. Uh, mechanical knobs on top. Here are your channel selectors. And let me go ahead and just uh, turn this around so you can see the back. And here we are with the back of it. Uh, you can see, um, I think you call, do you call those antenna connectors, I guess, something like that, up there? I don't quite know what this does here, but someone could probably fill me in on that. VHF and UHF. And uh, an antenna would go here, normally, as you can see. And uh, here's some information on the back. Hopefully you can read that okay. Manufactured January 1985, and um, I hope you can see it. Other language, uh, sorry, other language below it, and Bloomington, Indiana, USA. So you know this was USA made. Pretty cool, huh? And actually, there's also this thing on the back here where you can wrap the cord around if you want. Either just make it not have have it not be as long, or um, you know, for storage. So, uh, pretty cool to see. An interesting thing over here is, um, there's the volts, 120, 60 hertz, and it says watts average. I'm going to assume that this has to do with the wattage right here. I mean, this seems about the right size wattage for, um, for a CRT TV of about this size. And you can go ahead and read that again, uh, if you want. So, just, yeah, when I saw that, um, I could have this TV, I was just like, oh, that, that's so cool to have. We, uh, back when my brother and I were kids, we did have some kind of small CRT TV. Maybe even my mom's uh, from when she was a kid, but, you know, that TV's long gone, so, you know. And if I remember correctly, isn't this how you would, how you would connect, like, uh, like, a Pong a game console or something? I think that's how you would do it. You have usual vents on top, you know, wood grain all over. Of course, you know how it is. Very, very typical setup. And, um, was there anything else in the back here? Oh, yeah, I guess I can show you the power cord right here. Polarized plug. Usual stuff. And, uh, I don't think there, um, no, well, no, I, not that I don't think. Um, unfortunately, I, I obviously have no owner's manual with this, which is too bad because that would be a pretty cool thing to find. Although, if anyone knows, that's either an E or an F, I'm not sure. Think anyone could find one somewhere? Be kind of cool to see. Now let's go ahead and put it back to the front. Just one thing I forgot to mention on the back of the TV is that it kind of just shows you how different the times were in the sense that, you know, there's no video connectors on the back of the TV because, you know, back then, you know, video cameras were nowhere near as common. And, and you know, um, 
if you want, you, you, you could probably buy a TV with a connector. Could you in 85? Maybe you could, but, you know, they were just so expensive back then. It's just so weird to, like, not see any connect connectors like that on the back. And down here, um, here's your, uh, was that, tint, color, black level, and picture. I mean, those are options you do not see on TVs today. I mean, if you do, um, they're probably, like, built into the screen or something. But it's just cool to see actual knobs for that. And uh, this uh, silvery stuff just has a little bit of discoloration on the bottom here, but, you know, nothing too bad. Screen could probably use a little bit of cleaning, too. Now, here's the, um, here's the coolest thing of, the, of them all. Mechanical channel dials. And like you say, you know, like when they say, don't touch that dial? Literally. <laughs> so, uh, so this is obviously the uh, power and volume selector. You hear that? Okay. Now, uh, here's where the millennial in me comes into play. AFT. I don't quite know what that means. This knob either goes one to the left or one to the right. Maybe it has to do with the antenna selectors, like maybe it has to do with the screws back here or the actual antenna thing. Not sure. I'm sure, I'm sure someone could fill that in for me. And uh, yes, the uh, channel dials. Um, just, just listen to this sound. Listen to that. Just, oh, such strong mechanical thing, you know, it's really cool. So I'm going to assume is you have channels, you know, 2 through 13 here. And I'm going to assume if you go to U, that's when it goes to this selector here. And you can see how the increments are different as to how the dial turns compared to how the channels are selected. That's really, really cool to see. And um, what is interesting, too, is there is, like, some kind of outer knob here. I don't think this one does anything, but if you notice this one... Which way? This way. It feels like it's turning something, and it does go end to end. Do you see that? Or is this one just goes in a full circle, like this one right here? Like, is this like a fine tuner or something? I don't know. I'm just so fascinated by this thing. But of course, you know, I didn't really grow up with TVs like this. So, but that's just a really cool thing to see. Um, and like I'm saying, I'm guessing this knob would either select between these over here in the antenna thing. I'm not too sure, but again, I'm sure someone could let me know about that. So I guess what I can do is, um, obviously this TV is not connected to anything, so all you're gonna see is static. But I guess, you know, I can plug it in, turn it on, hit the channel knobs, and you can kind of see how it is registering different channels. And obviously just having static may not be a bad idea because, you know, um, anything I show could be copyright problems with that, I don't know. So let's just go ahead and plug this in and show you some of it that I can in operation. Okay, and here we go. So uh, here's the plug. We'll plug it in right here. Alrighty. So far, so good. Now, I won't... Um, hmm. What should I do? Yeah, uh, I'll turn on the uh, volume knob, just not too much, so you just hear the static, but it's not too loud, all right? So, here we go. And see, slowly but surely, the screen comes to life. <laughs> but of course, you know, this turns on much faster than that modern TV we have in the family room, that's for sure. Oh yeah, so as you can see, the uh, sound does work. As you can hear, though, it does make some sounds as, as I turn the knob, probably just because of the age of it. Like, you, you hear that, cr like, that, those loud sounds? Well, I guess I can keep it like that, not too loud. And, uh, yeah, so, um, this doesn't really do much right now because nothing's attached to it. Well, maybe the screen did change brightness and stuff a little bit. You can maybe see that. Now, if I turn the main channel dial right here, see, you can definitely see the screen's doing something. So, channel 7 kind of makes the screen a little bit darker. So you can see, you know, this, um, it's definitely doing something. Yeah. Oh, 13 does, kind of interesting. Whoever knew static on a TV could be so interesting, you know? But look at that. Is, is my hand doing that? No, I don't think so. I think it's just uh, trying to pick up something. Kind of cool. Then if I go to you here, I guess this is this controls it now. Yeah, it looks like the screen might be doing something. Yeah, it is. You see that? Let's see if I do that. Yeah, see, now it's not doing anything. Yeah, so you... Yeah. Oh, that, this is cool, man. <laughs> so cool to see mechanical channel dials. And I mean, having a having a uh, 83 channel TV in the 80s, I mean, that must have been a big thing at the time, right? 
That is pretty awesome. Put it back to where it was. Very, very cool stuff. And channel two. And then, okay, and then you can see the screen turn off. Ah, that old fashioned, it gets shrinks down like that, you know? That is really cool to see. So this TV definitely does, um, definitely does work. Now, my brother did link me a couple of, um, converters, you know, coaxial to antenna from Amazon, and I believe there is some way we can have it work with, with digital now, because as you know, cable is all digital now, so just for a second, if I go over here to where the TV hub is uh, for the entire house, you know, if I was to just plug the television into this thing right here, you know, that wouldn't work, because again, that, that's an analog TV and this is all digital, so this really wouldn't work um, uh, too well to show something, but my brother said there was some kind of converter that um, that was possible to make it work, so if it does work in the future, that would be great, but again, uh, it's going to be tough to show you something on screen, because, you know, copyright is so strict around here, so I don't know. Uh, maybe I can. I'm, maybe we can work out something. No promises. Maybe we can try it out. You know. All right. So I guess just one more time. I'll uh, I'll go ahead and uh, turn the TV on for you again. Just so you can hear that old-fashioned sound. Yep. Slowly comes on. And like I said, the channel selector definitely does work. And just the, uh, shrinks down, just like that. <laughs> really, really cool to have. And, uh, so there you guys go. There is the 1985 RCA television. So glad to have a vintage TV like this, you know? E even with just a 13-inch screen, having the mechanical knobs, the mechanical channel dials, oh, that is just so cool to have, you know? And obviously, speakers right there. <laughs> I forgot to mention that before. So, you know, we'll see what happens with this TV. Maybe we can get it to display something. Hopefully we can, but I'm sure we can work out something. But, you know, cool thing to have, vintage, and definitely quality made, and very glad to have acquired something like this, especially for nothing. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.